you know, week one of the curriculum, really setting some goals for the short term and probably the medium term, but certainly the, over the next four months, the next cycle of the curriculum. It's a really good block of time to use the back of your attendance card to write some goals down. Because if you don't write them down, you're kind of not accountable to them and you don't know if you've achieved them. And so a few examples might be to kind of measure your progress and to answer your question. If Alan's, what does he mean by doing okay against his peers? Is he submitting them? Um, is he submitting someone at the same stripe level or belt level every role? Is he doing that from a multiple different positions, top and bottom? And when you start to dig into it a little bit like that, you start to say, well, okay, maybe I, you know, I don't get tapped myself and I maybe get one submission every five rounds. And it's always from top position. It's like, okay, well, what if you got a submission every round? That would be progress. What if those submissions came from your guard? That would be progress. So you've got to start to think and really have a period of introspection and self-reflection on your jiu-jitsu and think a bit more carefully about it, about, okay, where am I right now? What can I do? What am I good at? What do I keep doing? Um, you know, 